Yo diggity. All right, I've been wanting to uh, talk about this for a minute, but uh, <laughs> a minute in my life, by the way, is sometimes like five years. But anyway, <laughs> okay, so bullied, are you being bullied, stalked, slandered? Have you been targeted? Are you being gaslighted, traumatized, abused? Okay, believe it or not, there is good news. First of all, what you need to understand is Number one, there is nothing wrong with you. You are not being targeted or bullied or shamed or abused because you are worthless or you are less than or you aren't good enough. No, that's not the reason. In fact, it's quite the opposite. The reason is because you are special and you do have something. So it is pretty essential to kind of understand the basics, right? There is black and white. Let's admit it, okay? Um, some people want you to believe everything is infinite love and therefore when I'm fucking you up the ass um, against your will that it's all love. And, you know, if you perceive that to be wrong, then there's something wrong with you. Bullcrap. Okay, there's good people and bad people. For uh, purposes of definition, good people do good things. They create, they promote others, people, love, they love themselves. Because if they don't love themselves, they can't love anyone else, right? People who sell themselves have no problem selling others. Think about that, okay? So, and then bad people... For purposes of conversation are those that have no problem going out of their way to hurt other people. So there are narcissists, psychopaths, people like that. Vampires, okay? Yes, vampires are real. So, now that you know that, good people do not go out of their way to attack, slander, bully, criticize, leave negative comments on YouTube or anything like that. Good people do good, positive things moving forward with their own life. So we could also replace the good, bad with creator being vampire. I've used the analogy before. Ticks will never be butterflies. Butterflies will never be ticks. Fish will never climb a tree. Okay? Squirrels aren't going to sail the depths of the ocean. They're all beautiful, they're all unique, they're all necessary, including ticks and fleas, okay? All right, so we need to realize, number one, that all things that look human, that have two arms and two legs and walk upright, are not actually human. We are not all the same, right? Ask a fish to climb a tree. Is the fish an asshole for not being able to climb a tree? No, the fish is a fish. Can't climb a tree. Ticks have to suck blood to live. That is their food. Vampiric, they suck your blood, right? They live off your life force. You are too different beings, okay? So, who are the ones attacking you? The parasites that need to suck your blood, <laughs> right? That's who wastes your time, that's who puts you down, that's who tries to hold you back, that's who slanders you, writes fake blogs uh, in your own, or buys domains in your name, or things like that, okay? Good people. Creator beings don't do that. Now, why do vampires do that? They cannot create on their own. They know that we are special, so they choose to latch on to you, right? To grab that life force, to try to make something with that life force. So you are not being attacked, bullied, attached to by vampires or any of that because you are a bad person. It's not your negative thinking. Don't fall for that new age freaking gaslighting bullshit. It's not because you're unworthy or unlovable or stupid or any of that. It is simply you have a gift. You are on a path 
and these people don't want you to get there. They want to suck your life force, okay? So I did a video called The Meaning of Life Simplified, and here it is, the video. It's a two-minute video, but it could literally be five seconds. They, whoever the they are in your life, their job is to distract you. Your job is to not be distracted. So let's look at this earth as a school. I've used this analogy before, right? And let's, you know, imagine an egg, right? You're an egg coming into, here we go, something like that. <laughs> and you're the oak. And you're surrounded by the insides, right? All the squishy stuff. That's your family and, you know, your close-knit uh, circle, right? The Probably the people who nurtured you in life or who you were with your first, you know, your formative years. And the shell is all that around you. Okay, so the egg, everything in there is trying to keep you in there. Your job is to break free of that. So even nice, well-meaning families or people like, Oh, I can't follow my heart. My family needs me. Or my mom's old. Or my dad's this. Or, you know, bullshit. Some cases, yeah, it's true, but most of the time, and let's get real, it's a cop-out. You're using that as an excuse because you are too afraid to break free, break out, whatever. So, and that's cool. I get it. Maybe it's not your path. But if you're being targeted, bullied, shamed, stalked, slandered, things like that, you have a pretty invaluable, amazing warrior path, the real warrior path, the real hero's journey, okay? So, you don't become a warrior and a hero for having everything handed to you. And so if you're wondering why, why does my brother get away with everything? Or why does so-and-so get to do this? And I so much as fart in public and the SWAT team is there, right? Well, instead of complaining about it, realize the reason certain people are handed everything is because they need it. They can't do for themselves. That's why they have to steal, lie, cheat, sell themselves, sell their neighbors, sell other people's. They can't create anything for themselves. Okay? Yeah. So, all right, let's let Let's look at this like an earth school. So, Rather than getting angry, let's say you're coming to earth school and you're like, all right, this is great. Look at all these people and all these things to choose from. And oh shit, everybody's mean and everybody's out to get me. What's going on? I'm going to offer you another perspective. So if you have ever seen or heard of a fun house or house of mirrors that are typically found in carnivals, um, normally, hi kitty girl, <laughs> normally we go to the fair or the carnival on purpose to be entertained. We buy tickets, we give those tickets to the people at the door, and we walk into the fun house. In the fun house, we might see, you know, monsters jumping out of the corner, or swinging down, or mirrors that, you know, get us all, we don't know if we're fat, skinny, short, tall, eight heads, zero heads, or what the hell is going on, right? Well, when you're going through that, are you going to get mad at the dude that jumps out from behind the wall to scare you? Are you going to get mad at one of the employees or one of the mirrors or the owner of the fun house? No? Okay. So... What if we were going through these things and feeling sorry for ourselves? And by the way, dude, that was me, okay? So I don't ever talk about things that I don't have personal direct experience with this. I was bullied from the time I was a child, like literally ever since I can remember. Elementary school, I was running home from school crying, okay? Like, yeah, so I know what it's like for 40 fucking years years of my life, being gaslighted, slandered, shamed, guilted, and, you know, traumatized. If you don't think that that has an effect on you, go watch some Darren Brown and see how after like a week or a few days of being guilted and shamed, like a perfectly normal, healthy, kind person will go admit to a murder that 
not only they didn't do, it didn't even happen. But yeah, so realize that you're under this pressure, like the coal, right? On fire, beating it up, and you're polishing, shining that diamond, right? The diamond didn't just happen. It went through shit. It got its ass kicked. It got pounded on, right? Just like you probably are now. So consider that a blessing, right? You can be just a rock, a lump, or a tick, like most everyone else. Or you can be one of the few actual real people on this planet. Yeah, no, not everybody or even human, okay? So just because, again, we look the same, right? Two arms, two legs does not mean human. Two four legs does not mean kitty or moose or buffalo or doggy, okay? So just because we kind of look like... You know, you really, the sooner you understand that you are, this is your life, this is your product, this is your experiment, this is your school, okay? You are the one that has to bust out of there, break free, yes, from even your family, your close loved ones, your everything and anyone that is trying to keep you back in that system. Speaking of system, if you are being bullied, shamed, attacked, slandered, got, whatever, don't go to the system for help. They're not going to help you because that is the system's job is to find and target the very few creators slash thinkers that remain, okay? Yeah, the witch hunts never ended and, you know, whatever. We've done those videos. I'm just saying. So, again, what I really want you to take out of this, if you are being bullied ganged up on, attacked in any way, it is not your fault. No, you did not bring it on yourself with your negative thinking, okay? And any new age gaslighter, spiritual narcissist that says that to you, get them out of your life. It's simple. Anyone who criticizes you, bye. Anyone who tries to hold you back, even if it is your sweet little grandma, right? If you're like, oh man, I'd really love to you know, uh, be a wildlife uh, safari photographer in Africa. And then your sweet little grammar mom is like, oh, that's just so beyond you. Oh, you'll never be able to do that. Why don't you just go get a job at McDonald's down the street and stay here and hang out with me like, you know, we used to, right? Things like that. Anyone or anything trying to keep you back in the system. Well, hello, little angel face. Nope, you're not allowed there. Hey, meet my angel. Yeah, if you're not on Facebook, you haven't seen her yet, but oh my god, that precious face. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. all right yeah so number one you need to know that it's not your fault okay number two you need to know that it's not because you're doing something wrong okay on the contrary it's because you're doing something right do not let them distract you what's the meaning of life for you to find who and what you are and live your soul journey your hearts, your soul's purpose, period. That's your job. Everyone else's job is to stop you. It's that simple. So who's going to win this race, this game of life, right? Are you going to let them, whoever the they are in your life, keep you from being you? Because if you are being targeted and slandered in those um, unimaginable ways... It's because you're great. And if you are so great for people to expend that much time and that many resources, people, years, decades, etc., wouldn't you want to find out why they would do that? <laughs> That's what I had to do, okay? So again, ticks will never be butterflies. Butterflies will never be ticks. Ticks have to suck someone. Vampires have to suck someone period. Okay? You're it. Why? Because you have the most life force. Ticks don't suck other ticks. 
Have you ever seen a tick on a tick? No. All right. So, one, figure that, figure that out. Number one, it's not your fault. You are special. We are not all the same. Separate yourself from anyone or anything who would try to keep you in that paradigm and go forth and be yourself. All right. Oh, hello, little angel. I have a little angel in my lap, so I totally lost my train of thought. I hope I got my points across. God, I really hope so. But yeah, you are being targeted because you're special, because you have a gift, because this is the real warrior's journey. So are you going to be a warrior? Or, are, or a worrier? A warrior or a worrier? Are you going to stay in that egg? You're like, oh, this is comfy and I think I'll just stay here. Or are you going to break free and see how great and powerful and magical you really can be? I'm going to tell you something. It's secret and I know you're not going to believe me. A, once you start living your own authentic truth and that means trusting your intuition above all else even when the rest of the world is telling you you're wrong like they did for me slant all over the world literally okay like <laughs> yeah literally so are you going to believe the them that are trying to keep you down or are you going to believe what's in your heart i believed what was in my heart I knew that that was true, even though nobody else did, but I made it. I didn't go back to my abusers or the system, the gatekeepers, right? Like many of you are like, oh, well, I'm going to get them back and I'm going to get them busted and they're going to hold, I'm going to hold them accountable. And you're like calling the police every day or agencies every day or whatever. Dude, you're wasting your time. It's never going to happen. Use that time to help yourself, whether you're studying, whether you're making medicine, whether you're taking pictures, drawing, painting, exercise, whatever. Do something for you. That They want you distracted in the system. If you are doing anything system-related, then you're not on your path, right? So if they keep you into this state where you feel like you have to go to the cops every day or something, right? Or in that negative state of revenge and things like that, dude, they already won. It's not too late. Okay, just know you have been targeted because you fucking rock. Chances are you have no idea how amazing and powerful you are, but they do. That's why they chose to target you, to suck your blood, right? To suck your life force. Again, they're not going to suck other tits, ticks. They're not going to suck... <laughs> Uncle Sam, sorry. <laughs> Get off the teat. But they're, they're not. They're not going to suck other ticks. They're not going to suck other vampires. Vampires don't suck other vampires. They suck non-vampires, period. You are one of the few. And, you know, let's get real about this. Most humans, most people we think are humans aren't human at all anymore. Again, they're the placeholders. They're the people in the fun house. But they're not real human. Do not concern yourself with what they think or how they feel. Concern yourself with serving your heart, your source, at all times, period. All right. Have a good day. Bye.